Hello everyone, so I will be doing my July wrap up for the month of July. I read nine books, so let's get started. The first book I read in the month of July was The Night Stalker, The Life and Crimes of Richard Ramirez by Philip Carlo. This is a true crime novel about the serial killer Richard Ramirez. He was a serial killer in California in the 80s. I gave this a four star rating. I really liked how the author set it up. Part one was like the police investigation and so we, we learned about the crime and then how the police went about it but we didn't actually know who the killer was yet even though we, are, we obviously know but we didn't know so we were kind of learning who it was with the police and so when the police finally knew who the killer was that's when the second part came and we learned about the life of Richard Ramirez. I know some people don't like learning about the life of a serial killer because they think it's very insensitive to the victims but personally I like learning about the killer's life and how they grew up because to understand them you have to kind of understand what they went through and Richard Ramirez didn't have a great upbringing that no way justifies what he did he is a horrible person so I don't condone what he did I don't feel bad for him I just feel bad for the little boy Richard Ramirez not the person he became he had seizures when he was younger that messed with his brain and he never got help and then he saw a family member kill another one and he didn't tell anybody that he was there and so that kind of messed him up as well and so it's kind of interesting to think of if he got help at that time would he have turned into the serial killer but who knows if you like true crime novels I highly recommend this one it was very well written and very good. The second book I read was Piano Lessons Can Be Murder are by R.L. Stein. This is a Goosebumps book and I kind of read this for nostalgia reasons and it was kind of in a reading slump so I just kind of wanted to read something short and I used to read these books when I was a kid and it was just a fun little easy read. So the next seven books I read, I read for The Reading Rush, so I won't go into too much details on them because my last video was The Reading Rush vlog where I talked about it more. So the next book I read was The Mummy by Max Allen Collins. This is based off the screenplay The Mummy, if anybody has seen that movie, it's a great movie. And this is very much like the movie. However, I did learn a lot more than I did from the movie. I don't know if I just didn't pay attention a lot or it wasn't just really said. But first of all, I did not know that it was took place in the 30s, which now looking back on, I'm thinking, yeah, that makes sense with the olden clothing and the technology. Like, it just never occurred to me that it was like the 30s. And then something else I learned was that Evie's parents were on the exposition that uncovered King Tut and I knew that they died but I didn't know that people suspected that they died because of the curse of King Tut. So that was pretty interesting learning those things that I didn't learn before. The next book I read was Star by V.C. Andrews. This is the second book in the Wild Flowers series. I really didn't like this book. I think I gave it a 2 star, 2.5 star rating. I just couldn't get into the character. Like we learn about her life and all the tragic things she's been through, but I didn't connect with it so I had no emotions reading this and so if I can't connect with the character I don't care what happens and so that's why I really didn't like this book. There's nothing personally wrong with it, I just couldn't connect with the character. The next book is the Witchcraft Hysteria of 1692 by Leo Bonfanti. This is volume one. I really liked this book. Well, it was short story kind of thing, pamphlet, I don't know what you call it. I did learn a lot. I'm really into like learning about witchcraft and all that. 
So do you want to... So this was a good introduction to it because it's short and so I wasn't really bored because sometimes history, if it's written like a history book, I kind of zone out. But it really wasn't like that and I learned things that I didn't know. And so if you interested in witchcraft but you don't know where to start, I think this is a really good introduction to start with. The next book I read was Lock Every Door by Riley Sager. This is the third book I read by Riley Sager and he does an excellent job at writing mystery thriller novels. So if you do like mystery thriller novels, I recommend his stories. They are definitely a fun, easy read and and I didn't expect the ending really. Like you think you kind of know what's happening and then they kind of throw you something and you're like, oh, okay. But it, it wasn't, it's not like a, like a big twist or anything like that, but it, it's definitely like a, oh, didn't see that coming, okay, kind of book. So I really recommend Riley Sager's books. The next book is About a Boy by Nick Hornby. I really enjoyed this book. I think I gave it like a 3.5 star rating, 3, 3.5 star rating. I really did not like the character Will. If you read, if you watch my reading vlog, I go on like a rant because he's such a jerk. Like he was saying how, oh, this woman who tries to commit suicide, that's the only thing hot about her and blah, blah, blah. So he's a really gross character. So trigger warning, there is a scene where someone tries to commit suicide. So that's a sensitive subject, I wouldn't read this book because it does impact her son's life and all that. But he does get a little bit better Will, but it, it's not the redemption I wanted because he's such a jerk and so I kind of wanted something bigger and it wasn't like that, but I still enjoyed it. The Couple Next Door by Sherry Lapina. I really like this book. I gave it a four star rating, I think. It wasn't what I expected because it doesn't really say it in the back of the book or on Goodreads, but this couple goes next door to like a dinner party and leave their baby at home. They have like the baby monitor and everything and they lock all the doors and everything. But when they return, their baby is missing. And I really enjoyed this. However, there's one thing that made me so angry and that was how they use mental illness. So the mother is going through postpartum and so the cops are automatically like, oh, she probably did it. She something she probably did something to the baby. And so they're kind of focusing on that. And she even starts believing it. Maybe she's like, oh, maybe I did something and I didn't even realize it. I was going through, you know? And I was like, no, like, stop making the postpartum be this big deal. There is a difference between postpartum and postpartum psychosis. And the psychosis part, yes, that's a little bit more serious, but still, like, many women go through this and it should be more talked about and it should be handled better because it's very common. Women should not be ashamed of this. It happens. You just had a baby. Your hormones are going crazy. Like, and so I really did not like that because it kind of gives that a bad name. So other than that, I did like it. I just wish they didn't use that as like a ploy in the book, you know? The last book I read was The Witches by Roald Dahl. I saw that the movie's on Netflix and I was like, hmm, I should really read this book first. And so I read it and I really liked it. It's cute, I mean, it's Roald Dahl. Who doesn't like Roald Dahl? I haven't seen the movie yet, but I really want to. So it's just like a cute, fun read. I read it like, couple of hours. So those are all the books I read in the month of July. Like and subscribe and I'll see y'all later. Bye!